Hi, my name is Cameron Richardson. I'm a stroke program manager, and today I'm gonna to answer some common questions about stroke. What are the types of stroke? There are three common types of stroke, a bleed, a block, and a mini stroke, also called an ischemic stroke, a hemorrhagic stroke, or a TIA. What is a stroke? A stroke is the interruption of blood flow and oxygen to areas of the brain because of either a block or a bleed. How are strokes treated? Strokes are treated depending on the type of stroke they are, whether a block or a bleed, and the size of the stroke itself, sometimes procedures, sometimes medications. Are strokes hereditary? Strokes can be hereditary as far as the risk factors that can cause strokes. However, just because your family member had a stroke does not mean you will have a stroke. Can stroke patients recover fully? Stroke patients can have a full recovery depending on the time that it takes to get to the hospital, how large the stroke is, and the type of stroke. What role does stress play in strokes? Stress can play a role in stroke by exacerbating existing risk factors and causing sort of a pro-inflammatory state for the body. Can young people have strokes? Young people can absolutely have strokes as well as children. While less common, the risk factors can be the same or different. Am I at risk for a stroke? While everybody might have a slight risk for stroke, multiple risk factors can exist exacerbating your overall risk. Hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking are all large risk factors. However, there are other risk factors for people of color, as well as if you have an inherited disorder such as a clotting disorder. What are some stroke risk factors and how can you reduce the risk of stroke? The most common risk factors are hypertension or high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, and smoking, also overweight. Most of these can either be addressed with medication or lifestyle changes to either mitigate them completely or lessen the total risk. How can you identify a stroke? A stroke is identified by the symptoms. Depending on the area of the brain affected, the symptoms will be different. The acronym that we use nationally is BFAST, which goes over all of the stroke symptoms that are most commonly seen. BFAST, B is for balance, changes in balance, inability to walk or feeling top heavy, eyes, difficulty seeing, looking at a clock and only seeing half of the face, or finding yourself catching the corner of walls and doorways that you didn't expect. F for face, half of the face is weak, and looks droopy or saggy. A for arms, one arm is weak and the other is still fine, or maybe even a difficulty picking up a coffee cup. S is for speech, and speech can either be slurred or dysarthric, where it's difficult to understand, or it can be incorrect or aphasic, is what we would say, or word salad, where the words coming out don't match what is being spoken about. And then lastly, T for time or terrible headache. Time is of the essence to get to the hospital and activate the emergency response system, as well as terrible headache for uh, a small subset of strokes, the bleeding strokes can, can cause a terrible headache. How does having a stroke affect what a person can or cannot do? Depending on the area of the brain affected, a difference of being able to speak or understand speech, being able to drive a car, or being able to live independently by themselves. What else should I know about stroke? Strokes typically do not have any element of pain. While it is not necessarily painful, it is still a medical emergency and you should seek help. How does getting to a dedicated stroke team benefit a patient? When you arrive to a facility with a dedicated stroke team, the total time to getting a treatment and potentially improving your overall outcomes is much improved. If you or one of your loved ones experience any stroke symptoms, activate the emergency response system by calling 911. If you have any of the risk factors that were mentioned, be sure to discuss it with your primary care physician because it's never too early to take charge of your health.